bigger than the BSPA. No. The BSPA would have said it, you don't want to use them. I know, I know, I know. Okay, okay. Right. Right. Right.
Would love to be here. I, he's here at Angus Farming here. He was not living in the UK.
Uh, something a little bit different here, Speedway Inside Dirt. While we're on tour for the uh, Stock Car World Finals, we're here catching a bit of Speedway action tonight. It's uh, Petersburg Panthers, home team to our New Zealander Bradley Wilson Dean. Uh, unfortunately, not riding tonight, but I'm catching up with Swindon Robbins captain and the 2017 uh, Speedway World Grand Prix champion, Jason Doyle. Jason, you guys came off the uh, win tonight, 46-44, uh, over the, the Panthers. So that must be uh, pretty cool for the Swindon Robins, I'm guessing? Yeah, it's making it easier for us boys um, to, to pick our, 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 our team for the playoffs. I guess it's going to all come down to our next two away matches to, uh, to then pick uh, the, the third and fourth place uh, team. So at the moment, it's, it's been a, a good season for the Swindon Robins, but it's still a long way to go, and the playoffs are the main thing, really. Um, it, it, it can all um, change overnight um, with injuries, so we're just going to um, go back to basics really and get back to um, hopefully winning ways again and, and we'll see what happens. You yourself, you picked up two wins tonight. Is that a, a good run for yourself or are you hoping for a bit more? Yeah, it was. Uh, I got three wins. Oh, three wins. Not so bad. Y your team <laughs> man told me two. Yeah, all right. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Though. Yeah, yeah it, was a, it was an okay night. Um, we had a, a lot of rain today, so the track was totally different. Um, it was on the outside. Uh, probably a, a good track for Bradley to uh, to be here because he doesn't mind railing the fence. Um, it's one of them tracks where you can be really fast when you're in front, but when you're behind it, you really struggle. So it's it's a, one of them nice fast tracks, um, open open like New Zealand tracks, I guess, and in Australian tracks, it's not so tight. But uh, it, it was a good win for Swindon, but um, it was not the best night for myself. You've got a, a Danish hot shot in your team, Rasmus Jensen, uh, picked up 13 points, three wins in two seconds. There was a race out there. You guys were down for a 5-1, basically. He came around the outside and, I guess, drew it up three all, but took the win. How impressive is he? 
Yeah, he's good. I ride with him in Sweden as well, and he does the same thing. He's a he's a out and out racer. He doesn't mind coming from behind and and uh, and picking up some points. So it's it's always nice to have guys like this in our team where we can um, rely on them to to come from behind if they don't make a start. And I think uh, Rasmus is one of them boys. What is uh, going to be good in the future for yourself? Uh, Speedway Grand Prix. You've got. Um Cardiff coming up in a couple of weeks with the British Grand Prix, you're sitting five points off the top eight that automatically qualify for next year, so I guess your goal, just push and push and get that top eight spot. Yeah, it's been a disastrous season in uh, in Grand Prix, that's why Erasmus is uh, a bit annoying as well if I want to add that to your, your little story. Uh, it's it's been a tough year with uh, with Grand Prix. It's um, hard to put your finger on it when you you're going so well in the leagues and, and struggling in the Grand Prix. But five points to to be back in the top eight and and be secure for next year is is my aim now. This to to get the the goal and and hopefully we go again and try to win world championship again. But it's it's tough out there. Um, sometimes uh, you go there and you feel really good and, and score hardly any points, and then on the weekend went and scored 12 points and, and got yeah. me back up there again. So it's it's tough. Uh, it's not fun. So you're feeling pretty confident that you could that you can squeeze into that top eight with two rounds to go. Yeah, that's the aim now. Um, obviously, world chim is way out of uh, reach now. Yep. Um, top eight is is the main goal, and hopefully I can achieve that in in two more Grand Prix. Couple of quick fire questions. Uh, favorite Speedway Grand Prix track? It would have to be Melbourne. <laughs> Not Western Springs. <laughs> nah, I wasn't there, mate, for oh, that one. No, no, nah, nah, I wasn't in the Grand Prix when that was there. But I'd say um, anywhere around New Zealand and Australia to, to be riding in front of um, our close uh, f- family and friends, it w- it's always nice. That's the main 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 reason why I like Melbourne. Um, it's a shame. Hopefully next year there's going to be an Australian or New Zealand Grand Prix again. Would be good. Uh, and favourite, I guess favourite league out of all your leagues, your Swedish leagues, your Polish leagues, your British leagues. Which ones are probably the toughest leagues that you are racing? Uh, we all say Poland. Um, it's it's the it's crowds and also <laughs> the money. I guess uh, it's it's a lot more money than riding in England. But the crowds are you can have fifteen thousand people there yeah, on, on a Sunday. Yeah, really. <laughs> it's it's depends what club you're riding for as well. Uh, we can have the tame ones or you can have Lubus, which uh, Zelona Gora, one of them fans. What uh, they're they're hard hardcore. Well, hey Jason, thank you for taking some time out and talking to us Kiwis while we're over here on tour. And uh, all the best for the playoffs and all the best for Speedway Grand Prix. Cheers, mate. Thank you. Okay, we're going to catch up now with uh, Peterborough Panthers manager, Carl Johnson. It's a famous Speedway name back home, actually. Um, right, Carl, you guys uh, obviously, unfortunately, went down tonight to the Swindon Robins. Close close racing, though, um, but a, a loss. What does that mean for your guys' season in general? Well, it's been tough um, right from the word go, to be fair. And, and I think, um, you know, we, we just need a, a little bit of luck just to, you know, turn, turn our form around and another loss at home, which is not ideal. But, um, yeah, close meeting, and hopefully for the telly it was good viewing, but, you know, it still doesn't, um, you know, mask the fact that it's no three points for us. Worked out well, kind of, with Kingsland ranged off, because uh, I know there's a few Kiwi boys back in, in New Zealand watching this live on Sky Sport. Uh, for the rest of the season, how many runs does uh, the Peter the Panthers have left to go? Well, we've got one home meeting on the 17th, so um, a week um, tomorrow, and then we've got uh, one away meeting as well at Wolverhampton, so um, which is yet to be decided. So then it's our season over, unfortunately. So with no playoffs for you guys this year, uh, is Speedway kind of like other sports where you start rebuilding and looking to other riders or, or development and things like that for next year's Premier League? Yeah, we do. Um, the trouble is, we, we we can't speak to riders um, too early, obviously, because you don't know what other teams have got plans for, and because they own them riders, that you can't really speak to them until that you know what they're going to do. But yeah, as soon as we um, as soon as we're allowed to, we'll we'll start talking and and hopefully bring in um, you know a couple of riders next year that um, love this place. Uh, you got a, a former Speedway Grand Prix rider in your team, Hans Anderson. Uh, will he be sticking around next year? Yeah, I hope so. Um, you know, it's uh, he's had a, a pretty inconsistent year, and and I know injuries have, have sort of hurt him this year and and hurt us um, in that fact. But yeah, he's you know he's a class act, and, and and when he's on it, he's he's you know he's he's tremendous. And yeah, we need that. He's probably um, good for our middle order, and and hopefully we'll see him back next year. You had a. a- a, well, a guest rider so you you can tell me how that sort of works but you had a guest rider Ryan Douglas from Australia and he five wins 18 points as well or 19 with the bonus man that guy he must be a machine you must want him in your team full time 
Yeah, he's uh, he's fantastic. I, you know, I try and use guests as much as I can because they, you know, if they fit in with us, then you know I keep using them. And Ryan's a fantastic lad, and um, we've used him before. And you know, I, I spoke to him the other week and said, you know, if there's any guest bookings, I'd like you to do them. Um, thankfully, um, one become available today, and he agreed to do it. And you know, what a fantastic night he's had. How do the guest bookings work? Because um, Speedway is really, I guess, picking up in viewership in New Zealand. Um, but there's, I guess, we, we're not used to a lot of the rules that you guys run through. We know that you guys have a team, uh, a squad, I guess you could say, and then pick a team for a night. So how does the guest side of it work when, obviously, he's registered to another team? Well, obviously, we in the UK, we only have seven riders per team, whereas abroad, they, they have squads. You know, they can have ten, to, ten riders to a team, and you can pick and choose, whereas we only have seven. Um, the rider that he replaced tonight is actually on a seven day ban for a non speedway injury so he was ill last um, Wednesday so he takes a seven day automatic seven day ban so it gives us a facility to bring in a guest to cover that rider which obviously we have done and we did do last week as well so um, sometimes it can work in your favour sometimes it works against you Um, it's just one of them things but obviously we can use guests for certain riders within the team if they're out injured or, or missing and obviously tonight it worked in your favour. Uh, Bradley Wilson-Dean, I guess let's talk about him because that's part of the reason why we're here. Peter's Panthers and Bradley Wilson-Dean races for you guys. Obviously he's out for injured, but um, how good is he for the Panthers? Uh, Bradley's fantastic. I like Bradley. i really well with him. You know, he's been here a few years now. And, you know, the, the thing is with Bradley, he gives 110% you know week in week out you know he's he's so lively um not just on the track off it um you know and and sometimes we miss that you know we miss that in the in the in the pits and you know he he can sort of like get you g'd up fairly quickly um you know he's a likable character and i know you know he's obviously a big fan's favorite here he's he's somebody that you know i want back next year for certain and um you know just hopefully that we can do a deal with him and and get him back here but yeah, his injury has obviously concerned us and it's taken so long to heal and, you know, we've probably, you know, got to look at helping him out in some way and, and trying to, you know, they've told him another six months, but, you know, obviously if we want him in the team next year, then yeah. we can't go for that. So, you know, we, we, we've we got to try our best and, and hopefully, fingers crossed, we can do something for him and, you know, even if it's after the season, just to, just to get him right. Bradley at full flight though, uh, for the not only for the Panthers, but how do you see him developing? Do you reckon uh, we can see another New Zealander in Speedway Grand Prix? Yeah, he's certainly got the potential. I think because because he's so young, obviously he's got the potential to get there. He's certainly got you know, all the attributes to be um, a Grand Prix rider. Um, the only thing with him he needs to calm down a little bit on the bike you know that's one one criticism that you know i would have on him and 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 i'll tell him that as well and you know he just has to calm down settle down you know ride four smooth laps rather than you know he's he's a bit a bit wild sometimes and and unfortunately that's when you end up getting hurt and and that's what happened with him at bellevue you know he was a little bit loose and um got himself hurt and you know but he was given 110 percent, and i can't ask any more than that from him so when you say that he's a bit wild, just speaking in, in riders in general, do you guys have like a coaching system or a mentor that can that points them in the right direction? Someone like Hans Anderson that's in the team? Yeah, we we try to, and it, it's very difficult because it's an individual sport, but a team sport. You know, yeah. all these riders are, are self-employed and they're riding for a team. So, you know, a lot of the time, if you if you've got a rider that's struggling, somebody like Hans, they're more concentrating on their own meeting rather than somebody else's it's only when you know they're performing well that they can spend a bit of time you know showing these riders or talking to riders and and again that's down to us that's down to us to to get in there and just say to him look calm down you know forget that race if he's had a bad race you know move on to the next one and you know he listens but he at the moment it's you know there's a gap there and he likes to go for it and you know there's a lot of riders that are like that so sometimes you can't take that edge away from him because he'll go backwards but you know sometimes you just want him to um to have a bit of a a soft edge rather than a rough edge 
Well, hey, uh, thanks very much there for, for talking with us and giving us a bit of an insight into the Panthers and obviously Bradley. Um, the Panthers are obviously a, a fan of ours because of Bradley and uh, I guess back home in New Zealand, our, our home track, Palmerston North, uh, we have a super stock team called the Palmerston North Panthers, which makes it even more cooler. Yeah. So, uh, hey, all the best for your next two, two meetings. Hopefully you can pull out some wins to finish the season on a high and uh, fingers crossed for a nice rebuild for the next season of uh, British Grand Prix. Yeah, yeah, we're you know, looking forward to the next two meetings and we'll look forward to a little break and no pleasure to talk to you. Thank you. Cheers.